Hey, good morning, Jenna. How's it going? Good, good morning, Andrew. How are you? Good, good. Oh, what about this? That's my cutwork napkin. So how do you do that? Okay, you put it on wire soluble and it does the stitch line mm -hmm. and then you go in and you trim out the fabric in there and then it goes back and does the embroidery over it and then you wash it out and you get the holes. I think I can do that. Would you happen to have that file? Yeah, I got it right here up on my computer right now. Can you send it to me? Yeah, I'll send it right to you. Okay, let's take these with me as samples. All right, so we've got our materials ready to go. So let's get ready to start this project. So let's go ahead, take out our stuff, starting with our eight by nine inch Mighty Hoop. Got our fabric, got our scissors, and of course, our tweezers. And we have our extra bobbin just in case, and our thread, okay. And let's see, so uh, let me go ahead and I'll, I'll hoop this for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Before you get started, Andrew, mm -hmm. let's, let's score this paper here. Oh, right, right, right. So you want to go from? Corner to corner. Okay, so. We're scoring this so the uh, it's water soluble and it's sticky and your napkin will sit on it. Ah, okay, so we got to pull it. Okay, okay. I got you. I'll do this for you. Oh, I see. I see what you say. When you're hooping it, you also put the paper side up. Got it, got it. Okay, so then so then once it's hooped and then you score it, then you, you take that off and then it exposes the, the sticky part. Right. Got it, okay. All right, so eight by nine mighty hoop into our machine. Okay. This, is, this is our marquee. It's our 20 needle with the 10S panel. All right, so we've got our design here. And I'm gonna go into select color and then I'm just gonna explain each step. So there's three steps. First step, we put it in black. That's gonna be our placement stitch. And then after that, we're gonna offset. So once it does our placement stitch, the hoop is gonna offset, is gonna come out of the machine. I'll do my, uh, my napkin. And then after that, it's gonna do the cutout for the pumpkin. And then once again, I'll offset. And then that's where I'm gonna cut. And after that, the final step where it does the rest of the embroidery. So there's three steps. We're gonna lock that and then we're gonna trace. We're gonna trace the design. All right, perfect. Good to go there. Okay, and now, okay, we've got, let's take this to 500 stitches and we've traced. So now let's go ahead and start. Okay, that's an offset. All right, so we've done our placement stitch. Let's go ahead, let's take this out. And we're gonna grab our napkin and we're gonna make sure that we don't get the side that has the tag on it. So this side right here, and we're gonna align it with the placement stitch here. All right, and then we're gonna stick it on just like that. Okay, it's good to go there. Now let's take it back to the machine. Okay, let me pull this out so that it doesn't stitch on the other side. Right, there we go. Now let's go ahead, we're gonna hit start and it's gonna bring the hoop back in and then it's gonna do the, the next stitch. All right, so we've done our second step. It's offset. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the brackets again, and we're gonna cut this out. Hi, uh, Andrew, how you doing? I think I'm doing okay, what, what do you think? Oh, it looks good. All right, well, I'm getting there. It's 
Let's see. I'm going to cut this out now. Um, do you have any tips at all? That I yeah, as I have a needle here. Okay. Uh, let's just put it in here. And can you lift this up here and take your scissors in there and get around your uh, stitching line. Okay, so let's see. See how easy that is to get uh, that in oh, there? Much easier, that's for sure. So should I cut inside of the stitch or just on it is okay? Or Yeah, just right there. You don't want to cut the stitches. Okay, so just, I mean, right. just right around it. Okay. And another trick, if you do happen to cut through the water soluble, it's not a, it's not a disaster. Oh, okay. Because you can Aussie patch it on the back. Oh, great, great. Okay, so, so still, still be careful, but if you cut through the through the water soluble, it's it's okay. You can, you can still continue. So, we've got our we've got our fabric cut out. Now let's go ahead. We're going to take it back to the machine. And we're gonna do our final step. So here we go. So let's go ahead, let's hit start. And there we go. And take this to the table and let me do some clean up here it really looks nice andrew that looks really good Thank you. now i want to show you a little trick okay okay we're just going to pull this up all right and you're going to take your scissors and cut around here so around here yeah just cut through that water soluble so cut around yeah you want to use these yeah oh, fine perfect thank you so cut around yeah just cut around the whole thing, basically? Just cut up. You're cutting a hole. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. Now there's your napkin. Oh, That's great. Look at that. Then when you wash it, it will all come out. Okay, now, you're going to do more napkins. Okay. I'm going to show you, set it waste in this, because this is kind of expensive. Water soluble okay. is a hand me those scissors yeah. there. And I'm just going to cut down through here. Now I'm I'm just eyeballing this, making sure it's big enough. And this can be used for something else. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this over, take my corner here. Oh. Now you just patched your hole. So you could just, it's like patching a tire. Yes. Now you can do your next napkin. And you already got your center Yeah, line that's here. perfect. You put your next napkin on there, you can go. You got another one. And you know what, Andrew, I was thinking about this. Okay. Since you're doing the napkins, I'm going to do a napkin ring. Napkin ring? How do, you, how do we do that? Let me teach you. All right. Well, let's get some materials, right? Yes. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Is all right. We got our supplies. Okay, so let's see. We've got tearaway stabilizer. There we go. This is water soluble ribbon. Ribbon. Mighty hoop, and I got tearaway on that. Or well felt. Wool okay. felt. And you can just set that bucket down there okay. to the side. Okay, and we're gonna need two pieces. Okay. And it will fit right in the hoop. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut another piece right here. This is gonna be a two part design. Believe it or not, we're gonna do bottom first because we need that. So we're gonna do the bottom first. I could go ahead and hoop this in there because it's big enough. Look up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you over here. We're going to select a design, and almost that's where my folder is, okay. and and it says back on here. This is my back of my pumpkin. I'm going to select and go into my hoop, and I did a custom hoop on here. And it's the mighty hoop. I'm going to select that and select hoop. Yes. 
I'm just going to slide it on. Okay, select the colors. I'm going to use beige because my wool felt is beige. Okay. So it tells me it's number five here. And I'm going to go five. And my buttonholes, I'm going to go with the same color. I'm making buttonholes for the ribbon. And I'm going to say save. And I'm going to put it on auto because we don't, it's just going to go embroidering on okay. and save. And then? And I'm going to do the test just to make it the trace. Looks good. Now we're going to start. Okay, it's done. All right. This is our bike. Now we're going to take it off out of the hoop because this is one time you take it out of the hoop okay and we're going to prepare this here in just a minute so i'm going to hoop up our top layer okay and i'm going to use the water the water soluble right there or the, or the sticky this is the sticky oh okay okay paper okay and here's our needle here i'm just going to score it all right, like last time. I'm just going to put my wool felt in there. Yeah, it's going to go back on the machine. Okay, now we're, I'm going to teach you something new in here, Andrew. Okay. Okay, I unlocked the machine. Now I'm going to go in and pull in our design, our top design. Okay. It's the pumpkin. And I've selected it. I mean, we're going to add a name to it. Oh, okay. Because, okay. you know, there's 24 different fonts in here. That's so, right. I'm going to go back to select and we're going to go to text. Okay. And you see the drop down here? Look at all the different ones in here. I'm gonna try this one. There. Oh, okay. See, that's, that's, I really like that. That's, okay, and I can change the width and the density. Uh, right now it's a 1.93 and 87 inches. It tells me right here in the stitch count, and it says three colors. So I mean, we're just going to use okay. one color. And I'm going to say save design, and I'm going to say May. Uh, I'm going to do three. Because okay. I've been playing around with this. Oh, okay. And I like this. And go next. You've had your tinkering with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm going to go my folder, Animal Designs. Okay. And save. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to go to Combo. And I'm going to add a design. And here's the animal. And I'm going down here. There's my mm, main. Okay. I'm going to do that and select look at that isn't it cool yeah so you can so you can basically put more than one design together and and uh-huh and i'm going to oh. bring this down just a little bit okay here as you can see it's moving okay wow look at that and i'm going to say okay and saved Look at that. So you fuse two designs into one. Look at right. That. That's so cool. So I'm going to go in my three colors. And this is the outline. So there's the M. Um... Okay. I'm going to go back up here. On number uh, four, color five, I'm going to do an offset there. Okay. 20. Oh, That's my be... Green stem. Go. Now the letters on the... Uh, M-A-E. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it all one color. Okay. So uh, let's go with orange because your napkin was done in orange. Okay. And I'm going to go on automatic manual. And I'm going to say save. Okay. I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to trace it. 
Trace Design. Looks good. And start. Okay, now it's going to do the, the pumpkin, make it look like pumpkin. Now, this is what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to go back to my three colors here. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, I got to go to float. And I'm going to go down to my orange. So I'm going to go forward to the colors. And just go and go to May. This is why I advance the colors to May. Because this is going to be on the bottom. Mm -hmm. We're going to sew this on at the end like it's all in a hoop and it's going to go around this. Okay. So if I did the lettering last, it would go over top of the saying. buttonholes and we have to advance that. Okay. And in Chroma, you would already done that. So that's one good thing about having the software. Okay. Oh, you can still do it here and it's just a little bit trickier. So I got it on May. I'm going home and I'm going to start. While that is embroidering, we can go ahead and tear this off right there. Okay. Now when it gets down to this, I want to stop the machine. It should stop. Okay, it stopped. Now I'm going to go in my colors again. And I have to go back to the green color. So that's uh, number four. So I, I can see where it's number four right here. Okay. So I'm going to go uh, home and go back to number four. There we go. And it's going to do the stem. Okay. Okay, now it's done for this part. Now bring the back part over. Okay. And as you can see, the button holes is here. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of fold this like this because I don't have my seam ripper up here. And carefully cut that. And I just folding it and kind of cutting it right there in the middle. Okay. Just get it started. That's where our ribbon's going to go in. Okay. Now you see the indentation of the pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Okay, we know this has to go right here. Matches that. It matches that. And that's where our tape comes in handy. Okay. Right here. This is a uh, paper tape. I'm just going to trim this off because I don't want it to slip. And you can reuse it over and over again because we're going to do more than one napkin holder. Okay, that's lined up. Now we're going to go back in. Okay, Andrew, it's all taped in to the bottom. Okay. So I got to go back to step three. So I'm going to go to home and I'm going to go to float. And you can see up here, I'm on five. So I'm going to go backwards four, and then there's three. Okay. And then that's what we need to do. Go home, and we're gonna start. What this is doing is sewing those all together. The front and the back together. Okay. Now it's going to do the stem. It's, did the offset? We're done. All right, look at and that. Even though 
it doesn't say it's done. I mean, where we advance, it's done. And you'll see what I'm talking about. I love doing this. It's all in the hoop. Now all we have to do is trim and put our ribbon in there and put it around your napkin. Okay, now all we have to do is take it out of the hoop and, re and trim it up. Look. So now we're going to take ribbon. Let's see. Let's let's do about 22. I also have like having a little bit too much than not enough. And I got my little tapestry needle here. And if you don't have a tap, and this is row green ribbon that I'm using. I like row green because it doesn't fray as much. And I, we already cut this, and we're just going to pull this through. Good. Look at that. Now we're going to take your napkin, fold it, put it around it, and you pull it around. There it is. That. Isn't that cool? That is cool. I really like this. Now all we have to do is wash out the water soluble, okay. and you can see really see the cut work. I really like the pumpkin napkin ring, and we'll just wash this out. Okay, perfect. Let's, let's go. Some. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Well, we've done our cleanup. We put the we put it in water for the water soluble stabilizer, and I gotta say that looks fantastic. It does. I really enjoy that. All right, this is it for today. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next embroidery project or to get some more embroidery advice, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our embroidery and custom apparel mastery group. And check us out on Instagram and TikTok. And if you have any ideas you'd like to see in a future episode of Embroidery Hub, then leave them in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. time.